It is my pleasure to welcome to the BIMA our school's president, Dr. David Erbach, to share a few words. Why are we here? What do we believe? Who are we? I can answer these questions only for myself. I'm here because I'm a Jew and because I believe that I must continue to live as a Jew because the world needs Jews. I believe simply there must be Jews. This world, the suffocating broken planet, needs Jewish people because of our history, our symbolism, our embodiment of social justice and humanity, and for our commitment to repairing the world. Society would look very different without the contributions of Jewish people. Any student of science, mathematics, engineering, ethics, history, literature, law, government, philosophy, any scholarly discipline can rhyme off the names of the giants of their field, and many of those names will be Jewish names. In my own work as a doctor and a hospital administrator, my Jewish colleagues are among the first to step forward to defend the right of every human being to realize their full potential as people. Jews believe that none of us is safe until all of us are safe. Equity and social justice may be the trendy vernacular of this particular social moment, but they are Jewish concepts and they have permeated Jewish historical memory and defined the Jewish experience for millennia. This is our work as Jewish people. This is our burden, our covenant, our destiny. I find myself speaking these words at a particularly difficult moment in time. I have lived my entire life in a world where being Jewish was easy. My father was born in Toronto to Polish immigrants, the son of a Rebbe who taught Cheder, my mother fled Baghdad as a child and grew up in England and Australia before moving to Canada. I attended Hebrew schools and Jewish summer camps, and I have never experienced anti-Semitism in a personal way. But for the first time in my life, I am worried about the future, because I am worried about the future of our synagogues. I am worried because I have had a front row seat to the unrelenting challenges that have impacted Adith Israel as well as synagogues around the world over the past few years. Even before the devastation of the pandemic, the sustainability of synagogues has been systematically eroded by secular trends in declining religious participation and synagogue membership and movement away from holding life cycle events in synagogues. Conservative Judaism is by far the largest denomination of Judaism in Canada comprising 36% of the Canadian Jews who affiliate with the Jewish movement, according to the last comprehensive survey in 2018 by Environics. 70% of conservative Jews in Canada were affiliated with a synagogue in 2018, as compared with 89% of Orthodox Jews. Conservative synagogues in Toronto have lost 15 to 20% of their members since the start of the pandemic in March of 2020. Shuls are highly dependent on member contributions for their survival, and we are at a breaking point. Adith Israel needs your help. It needs your membership, it needs your participation, and it needs your philanthropy. Our annual Koach fundraising campaign ends after Yom Kippur. If you have not yet made a gift, please do so. If you have already made a gift and you have the means to be even more generous, then please revisit our fundraising website and give again. Without shuls, there will not be Jews. Living a Jewish life requires participation in Jewish ceremonies and prayer. It requires rabbis, other clergy, and community. None of these can exist without shuls. No Jewish institution not Jewish schools, 
not Jewish summer camps, not Jewish studies programs in ivory tower universities, will keep Judaism alive for more than a generation without participation in religious Jewish life. The Chabads will not save us. We must do this on our own. On Rosh Hashanah, Rabbi Cutler asked you to support our shul at a level, a level where you felt comfortable. I would go a step further and ask you to stretch yourself and give more, even if it doesn't feel completely comfortable. We need your help. There is no middle ground, no neutral stance. Not supporting your shul, whatever shul that is, and whether you love your shul, and even if you hate your shul, not supporting your shul at this time of existential crisis is a statement. It means you don't care. It means you don't care if there will be shuls for your children and for their children. It is a statement that the continuity of the Jewish people is not important. I know that's not true. Because you are here, listening to these words, in person or in your home, being a Jewish is important to you as it is to me. Jewish people did not survive the millennia to succumb to a comparatively mild respiratory virus and an indifference born of the luxury of our modern social privilege to supporting formal religious institutions. And because being Jewish is important to you, I ask that you join me in supporting our shul, our community, our clergy, who are there for you in your times of deep sorrow, your times of extreme joy, and at those times when you just feel lost and need spiritual guidance. More than ever before, the shul needs your help. And I know that you will be there for the shul, just as the shul has always been there for you. On behalf of the Adith Israel Executive Board, lay leaders and staff, I wish you all a Gemara Chatima Tovah.